What is up YouTube? It is your boy Terrell Payne and today I'm going to bring you a live commentary over some Resident Evil Revelations. Um, I've already played, well you can see I've played this for like an hour or so already, fucking um, episode 3. I picked this up during one of the Steam Daily Sales of fucking, probably a month or so back. I've always been a big fan of fucking of, of Resident Evil. Well let's load. Oh, I'll do the, another one, regular one. Oh yeah, fuck the auto save. I forget exactly what we were doing last time or what I was doing last time, but they'll have a little recap right here, so yeah, we'll be quiet for a second. Resident Evil Revelations. Jesus. No one could have lived through that. And stories of their resurrection are true. Then the setup that got Jill and Parker, it was all <laughs> It's a trap. Yeah, it almost carries. It's a trap. <laughs> Ryan, we'll go after Jill and Parker. Make your way to the Mediterranean. Where? Damn it. Bastard took all my weapons. Can you reach HQ? No. Comms are as it seems. Shit. We'll be stuck here. Jim! Who the hell are you? Well, there you have it. So, yeah, we went out on a mission to the boat. Shit happened. We got stuck on the boat. <laughs> and we were supposed to be going looking for fucking Chris or whatever, but kind of find out Chris is somewhere else, and yeah. So, episode three, Ghost of that place. <laughs> Fuck it, um. One second, hold on, real quick. I figure now, some of these live comms and shit that I do. Oh, what shit did I. Oh, I thought that was me pushing the button with the paint. Well, hold up, let's see what they got to see. Raymond. Hey, how you doing? That's you, isn't it? <laughs> the BSAA. But yeah, I figured on some of these live comms that I'm doing, I would like have a subject or like a question or something I'm going to start attaching to it. Like just, just on a few of these, you know, here and there. I figured this one right here would be, which Resident Evil was your favorite? Like, what was your favorite Resident Evil game? I'm asking all you guys. Um, I'll, I'll tell you my favorite in a little bit. First, we'll talk a little bit about them. Remember, this is all, this is live comms. This is all this live while I'm playing a motherfucking game. So I'll do most of my motherfucking commentaries. Okay, okay. So far, my thoughts on this game, I'm definitely liking it. Fucking, it's got that old school Resident Evil feeling to it and everything. Fucking, um. Oh. Originally, this was a Nintendo DS game that got ported over to the systems and whatnot. Search the bridge. Alright, it's been like a little while since I played. Let's see, hand grenades, some herb. It's not an herb, son. Of course, I'm playing with my controller, but this is PC on Steam. I'm definitely liking it though, it's definitely got that old school type feeling, it's more about the, the horror element, sort of. And not so much of an action game, like fucking 6 and 5 has been. Which would be mostly everybody's biggest complaints about them two fucking games. Alright, so let's start off talking about fucking, let's go down here and figure out what this motherfucker's doing. Wait, get up to I forget. Oh yeah. You like, use this motherfucker to find clues and items around the shit. I forgot about that, around the ship. <laughs> shit, whatever. What else then? I'm guessing R1 will be throwing the nade. I don't want to do it. No waste it. Just make sure. Then, yeah. Quick 180 turn. Already. Oh, there you go. Something to say you want me to go, bitch. Let's go. Alright, so let's go back to Resident Evil 1. Oh, excuse me. I've been drinking coffee. I can feel that shit. <laughs> Get some ammo. Alright, the first time I ever played Resident Evil 1 was way back in the day. My brother got a Sega CD. I don't even know if most of y'all know that fucking that bitch was on Sega CD, but yeah, fucking Resident Evil 1 on Sega CD. Um, I don't know, playing that back then for the first time, there was such a different experience. There was no other games out there like that, and just the, the, the environment, the, the, oh shit. Oh shit. Back up, ho. Get him off me. Reload. But just, the, everything about that game was fucking awesome back then. You, Jill, the master of lot picking. <laughs> okay, maybe not everything was awesome about it. Some of the fucking dialogue was, yeah, you know. <laughs> kind of cheesy, but fucking good. <laughs> Yay. Can I do anything like this? There's a safe with a card reader. Okay, okay. Don't need ammo. But playing that for the first time back then, I don't know. That was pretty fucking awesome. Um... 
And ever since then, I fell in love with the horror genre, survival horror genre. And yeah, fucking, I couldn't help myself. I had to play each and every one of them. And fucking, since then, if not mistaken, didn't it come out on PlayStation One as well? And I think I ended up playing it on there too. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, I rented it. Like they had the director's cut or whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then um, so Resident Evil Two eventually came out, and that was um, of course that was PlayStation as well, and N64. If I'm not mistaken, I played the Nintendo 64 version. Load up. I'm trying to figure out. Oh, it's what the okay. So what's in here? Bullets. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I played Nintendo 64 version, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure I rented that motherfucker. I, I missed the days of renting video games. Some of that, that shit was so fucking awesome. Yeah, so that one that was the one that started off in the city, right? Fucking um Yeah. <laughs> awesome game. It's been so fucking long since I played all these motherfuckers. Like I can't tell you a oh shit. Heh. <laughs> I can tell some the graphics ain't up to par with a lot of games out there, but you gotta say this was a fucking DS port, so yeah. <laughs> it's not supposed to fucking look like you know all the other shit out there. Good. We should can we like? Do we can we look at a map? Oh, okay. Find an emergency communication room if we go through the hall. Black feather. Oh God! Please help me. This can't be happening. It's definitely got that old school feeling to it. I've, I've been wanting to play. I, I've been missing that about Resident Evil so fucking much. Of course, there was plenty of spinoffs too. <clears throat> I can't remember the exact names, but like um, Resident Evil Outbreak or whatever. Any Resident Evil game I could get my hands on back in the day, whether I rented it or whatever, I would fucking play it. The one Resident Evil game that I wish I would have played, I never got to, was the re remake of Resident Evil One on my fucking GameCube. Is this where I came from? I'm not paying attention. I'm talking too much. <laughs> But, um, I have a GameCube, or I had a GameCube, but not too long after I got that bitch, that motherfucker broke. <laughs> so, yeah, I pretty much got stuck with him, and didn't get to do much else. Do, I, do we need to go back upstairs? So I'm not even paying fucking attention to what I'm doing. Might make for boring fucking gameplay or whatever. Now, after the, 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 so number three, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. That one, I really fucking love that one. Um, fucking just, I don't know, it gave it a different feeling because you always was worried about that motherfucker coming up on you. How do you know him? I used to work with him. Let's see what he's saying. Let's leave it at that. But yeah, you always had to worry about the nemesis, if I'm not mistaken, that was his name, because hence the title. Always running up on you, you know, you couldn't, you wasn't really that fucking safe in that game. It just made it, uh, it was such a fucking horror aspect feeling of it. It just fucking, oh shit, son. It was just awesome. I don't know, I really love that one. Some people might have hated that one because of that shit. I don't know, I, I definitely, I was a big fan of it. Fucking shit, man. Yeah, but was, wasn't Resident Evil 2 the one that had the, it came with, uh, it was like two different discs on PlayStation or some shit? I don't know, it's been so long since I played a lot of these motherfucking games. Of course, like I said, they had a completely different spin-offs and whatnot. Then you had, our, then you had Resident Evil 4. Originally, it wasn't a GameCube game. Yeah, let's go, go elevator, son. Uh, I'll, I'll where we're at. Guess not. Now we're probably on the fucking the deck, huh? But um, I wait. Uh, I uh, uh, fucking uh. Eventually, they, it got ported over. I got put on PlayStation Two, Resident Evil Four, and I eventually picked that motherfucker up. And damn, was that such an awesome fucking game? But it started there. The downfall of Resident Evil started fucking there. Now it was that was a fucking awesome ass game. It had its horror elements. It had a lot of action up in it, but it also had fucking Ashley, which was a bitch sometimes. Cause it's, it's like a fucking an escort mission the whole time, you know. And ah, uh, not the whole time, but a good portion of the motherfucking game. I don't know what to do. It's just the rooms that we came in because we were stuck in there. We fucking um, we loaded up this place last time. Alright, so on to Resident Evil 5. Such a fucking disappointment. Fucking, uh... I didn't even pick it up originally, fucking, because just hearing all the shit about it, just, you know, it, it wasn't it wasn't what everybody wanted. I, I still want that old school classic Resident Evil feeling of fucking, you know, horror walking down the hallways like, like this one fucking feels. Again, I guess we're going to the place where the map is... I don't know, go this way. <coughs> 
no, excuse me. But eventually, a, a friend actually got the game for me. He picked up the game for me and him, and that way we could play it together. So I got the pleasure of um not playing with the fucking computer on that game, which will probably save me some headache because you know her fucking computer sucked ass. So yeah, fucking um, I played Resident Evil Five. It was a good co-op game, but it just wasn't horror. It wasn't your survival horror shit that you fucking the fuck? Oh shit! What the fuck? <laughs> Have a nade, ho. That's a new type of enemy. You did? Where are you shooting at? What are you shooting at? Oh yeah, I forgot I should be fucking um using my thing. It's been a, it's been like a couple weeks since I played this, so I forget, you know, some of the shit I should be doing. Oh, one shot? Sweet. Shouldn't have wasted another goddamn bullet. But yeah, it, it was a letdown in some ways. And oh, no, I just started down. Resident Evil 6, I skipped it. I still haven't played it. Maybe one day I will play it if it like goes on a really good ass Steam deal and I picked a bitch up for like five bucks or some shit like that. That started hearing things about this one on the fucking the DS version or whatever. I think I don't even know where the fuck I'm going, honestly. I might be going backwards. One look, Mr. Oh, Oh, so best destination is that way. Alright, I'm just. Just checking shit out. I guess we keep up this way. But start hearing about Resident Evil. I heard, start hearing about this one. I never had a DS, but fucking. I think the last actual Nintendo handheld that I owned was a fucking regular Game Boy. That's probably actually the last handheld I did own. I mean, I didn't give me a DS. I wouldn't mind having one. Or the new 2DS. Uh, God, whatever. I'm not even going to go on about that. They're not even marketing towards that, so that's for fucking kids. But, so I heard about this one, it, it seemed like it was real fucking cool, it's got the horror aspects back into it, it feels like a nose cool Resident Evil in a lot of ways, I don't know where I'm supposed to be going, just jump going, where's he at, oh he's right there, oh fuck him, let's go that way. So far, I am like this one. I'm fucking lost at the moment. <laughs> like I said, it's been a few weeks since I played this, and that's, that's bad about me because I have so many different games I'm always trying to play that I don't know which one. I, I mean, I always get lost on some stories. Literally, I beat fucking I beat Saints Row 4. I played that for a good bit. Okay, good. Anything in here, abuse? It should give me some of that green herb, son. Nope, found. What the hell is going on? Monster crawling over the ship. Anyway, back to the question. So, favorite Resident Evil? Really based on, a lot of it's based on nostalgia alone. Fucking Resident Evil 1, playing that for the first time. That probably is my favorite. But that, again, it plays on a lot of nostalgia shit. I'm about to go ahead and end this commentary because it's getting close to like, what, 14 minutes already? And plus, I'm a little bit lost. Let's make it a gameplay. <laughs> kind of suck <laughs> for y'all watching. Hey, but it's what the fuck ever, man. It's live and it's how I do my shit. But, uh,. I don't know, I really enjoyed, I really enjoyed all of them. 1, 2, 3, and 4, so a lot of the fucking side ones. On um, the 3's up there highly too, just because of the, the feeling it gave you. It, it was that horror aspect, but yet it was even, it, it was even more fucking suspenseful with that motherfucker chasing you the whole goddamn time. Again, I'm lost, man, I'm lost. I have no idea. Oh, so, yeah, but what was your favorite Resident Evil? Or if you didn't like Resident Evil, what's your favorite survival horror game? That was the one good thing about Dead Space. When fucking Resident Evil went off into its little action thing, Dead Space came out, and that felt, that felt like fucking Resident Evil should have felt a while back. Anyway, yeah, what's your favorite Resident Evil? Leave it in the comments, as always. I hope you enjoyed this shit, and I'm out this bitch. Yowce, motherfucker.